Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J. Today I'm playing Il 2 Sturmovic, Birds of Prey. Don't know what any of that means. I think these are World War II, Korean War fighters. Maybe we might be Russian, we might be American. I have no idea, really. Sturmovic. Sounds Russian. Maybe we're killing the Russians, though. I don't know. Um, of course, this is one of the games the book a thousand video games we play before we die. Hence, we do as the book commands. Sturmovic. Those look like the, uh, those look like British insignias, I believe. They're, or actually, is that American? Red, white, and blue, right? Yeah, this is American? Oh, man, my World War II insignia knowledge is very limited. Man, imagine back in the day, like, this is historical footage. Imagine, like, back in the day, like, hopping in a plane like that and, like, flying over this countryside. Like, it's easy to be disconnected from this because we've played so many video games and stuff, but, like, real people did this. Real people do this. I mean, it's not like people don't hop into planes and fly, but, I mean, different circumstances, you know, they're not in dogfights trying to gun each other down. Oh, and... <laughs> oh, we're still watching photorealistic historical footage? The, the, the mix in here is seamless. A seamless transition. Um, though, I mean, for the PS3, the graphics look pretty solid. Uh, but it's funny how they, <laughs> I think they tried to bamboozle us, starting with the historical stuff, and then just seamlessly switching us into the 3D engine stuff. I mean, you know, obviously it's it's very obvious game footage, but, uh, you know, 3D, 3D engines themselves and the computational power of even a PS3 is really mind-blowing when you think about it. Like, every single, like, we're just playing, like, 60 frames a second here, in this game and every frame you have to draw out like every pixel on the screen um and you have to do all these like voxel computations and compute like a few gigaflops of triangles and colors and sh uh, shadowing and it, it's it's mind-boggling you do that 60 times a second like you know computers are no joke they're insanely powerful when you really think about it even if you even a ps1 if you think about all the the triangle math that happens you know, in a fraction of a second, it's, it's crazy. Um, let's just hop into the campaign. I, I'm sure this is going to go well. This is the demo, by the way. The full version of the game would have a lot more um, to offer. But, uh, you know, today, since we're really doing... Uh, I've started to think of our 1001 quests. Like, when you go to a bar and they give you, like, a tasting, you get to taste a whole bunch of little, you know, beers. I kind of feel like... That's, that's what we're doing with our 1001 journey. We're, we're doing a, a gaming tasting, gaming sampling session. Um, difficulty arcade level is good. And unlimited attempts is also good. We don't want to lock ourselves into a specific number of lives. Although you can if that's your thing. If you want pressure to build or something. Um, I remember reading a, a long time ago about a way of playing Mario 1 where your first two lives, you just run into that first Goomba and die, and then your last life, that's where you start playing, and you play with no continues. So it's sort of like a high pressure, you know, it, it's sort of the, um, uh, what you call it, Iron Man mode of playing uh, uh, Mario 1, where like, if you die, you die. Okay, attack the enemy bombers. Oops. Okay, there's my gun. Oh, my battery's getting low. Okay, hold on. Pause this thing. We got to plug in. All right, we are charging. Let's resume our mission here. So we have to take out these bombers. Oh, that changes the view. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay. I guess sort of aim down sights. Oh, that's interesting. So you guys know why aiming down sights was invented? Or maybe, maybe do, maybe don't. Um, kind of fun shooting this machine gun. Um, the reason that aim down sights was created, because if you look at the, the first first-person shooters like Doom and Wolfenstein, and even up to like, 
uh, half-life and stuff there was there was no aiming down sights you basically just flew around and uh, okay we're increasing our speed you just ran around and shot you know like hip shot um, aiming down sights was invented because when you're playing a game oh, I think we got one when you're playing a shooter on a um, God, sorry, hold on. I, I keep starting my sentence, but I'm in this crazy dogfight. Oh, that was satisfying! Down he goes. I think I'm being shot now. Speed up. Push nose down. We have to? What if I... Oh! Want to shoot that guy. Zero percent thrust. We're literally just gliding here. My speed is dropping. Okay, there's a guy. There's a guy. Pull up, pull up. See him. Where did he go? I'm totally gonna get shot down here, aren't I? I can't aim upwards. Aim up, aim up, aim up. Alright, here we go. I don't even know if this is the guy I'm supposed to be taking down. Oh, we got him, though. Most of the time in these uh, aircraft games, I have a really hard time actually hitting anything. This is like oddly satisfying. I'm actually being able. I'm actually able to hit things. Oh! <laughs> I kind of want to crash into another plane just to see. Um. All right, let's try and turn around. Oh God! Turning around in aircraft games is hard. Okay, I'm just gonna fly way out here, and then we'll turn around. Anyway, the reason Aimbound Sights was invented is that if you want to play a first-person shooter on a console, it's a lot harder to aim uh, with uh, an analog stick than a mouse. So developers were realizing that it was hard for people to aim, so a lot of console games have aim assist. Um, but what the smart guys, I think it was Call of Duty that first had aim down sights. I mean, even in, in games like the original Halo where you didn't have aim down sights, you could click in the right thumbstick and you could like zoom in. But that's, that's a different mechanic than aim down sights. Aim down sights actually brings your gun up. You're looking down the, the, the target or it zooms in a bit. But the reason that aim down sights is so effective is that it also sort of uh, target locks in that process. So it's kind of a mix of mechanics, a bit of zoom, a bit of aim assist, a bit of target locking. Um, and it all comes together to feel very uh, satisfying. And uh, aim down sights has thus been adopted even on like PC games and stuff, they do it now. Um, but yeah, it was originally invented because the analog sticks on consoles were just not as good uh, as mice. Um, now, of course, I'm anticipating the comments here. Somebody might say, well, technically, aiming down sights existed in, in a PC game before a console. It just wasn't popularized until Call of Duty, and that may be true as well. So maybe it wasn't technically invented, but um, I do remember that one of the main reasons you, you saw it first in, in console games a lot was it, it really is a form of aim assist, and so it allows your analog stick to generally make big movements when you move your, your reticle around, but then when you aim down sights, it makes smaller movement. So that's another mechanic of it. Um, because the, the analog sticks are just less precise than mice, um, you know, they, they were either making big movements or small movements, and a big movement is hard to aim with, a small movement is annoying if somebody wants to turn left or right as they're running around the level. So you have two modes of moving the analog stick, one big and one small. Um, so it's a rather ingenious solution to the problem of analog sticks. And frankly, it's funny, in high school, you know, I played, like, uh, Quake and stuff like that, and I used to hate playing shooters on consoles. The only shooter that was really out in high school for me was um, Goldeneye on the N64. And I had friends who loved that game, and I truthfully <laughs> did not like it because it was like... I was just so used to aiming with a mouse that aiming on an N64 analog stick felt so inferior. And I was like, what are you guys saying? This game is terrible. But everybody loved it. Um, they loved it mostly for the multiplayer. Well, I mean, some people like the single player as well. But definitely getting a, you know four friends together and all going to town in the multiplayer was, was the fun part of the game. Um, 
And that actually makes a lot of sense. But, uh, you know, because it is fun to, like, get all your friends together in a room and, like, you know, kill each other. You don't, you don't get a lot of that anymore these days. Because uh, everything you just play online with your friends. But we used to set up uh, LAN parties and stuff where we would all get together. Or, like, a couple times over the years, we, like, brought a bunch of Xboxes together and networked them and, like, all sat together and, and played Halo and stuff like that. That was always a lot of fun. And it's just different than playing online. I mean, playing online is, is fine, too, with your friends. I do a, a lot of that these days. But, um... But certainly, there's just something about doing it in person that is, uh... It's just more fun. It's just more fun. Oh, yes. Yeah, we, we're probably doing this mission so slow. Oh, my God. See, one thing about air games... <laughs> air games. One thing about uh, flying games that uh, has never really worked out for me is I just can't control myself in, in flight very well. Look at I'm all over the place. Um, but anyway, yes, yeah, so I, I was not really a fan of Goldeneye back in the day. Um, much more preferred to play with a mouse and stuff. But then what happened is, over the years, you know, I was very resistant. I, I, I was not a Halo fan for Halo 1 or 2 for a while there. And then eventually I got into Halo 2 um, after it had been released for a while. I played it at a friend's house. He convinced me to try it, and I actually quite liked it. Um, and then once I started playing games with uh, a controller, shooters with a controller, um, I started to get really into that. And I really haven't gone back to the PC. Um, I've played the occasional PC shooter here and there. Whoa, we're getting rather close to the ground there. Um, and I, I still like aiming with the mouse. I still feel like it is a good, you know, it, it's it's aged very well. It's it's uh, still a great way to, oh, like I crashed. Still a great way to play your, your game. So like if you... If you are a ride-or-die PC first-person shooter person, I get you. I understand. The mouse is still probably the gold standard. Um, and still, I think it's still more precise than the analog controller. But what I found is the analog controller is good enough. And it's rather comfortable to use an analog controller. And what I like about the analog controller is I can use it if I'm sitting at my desk playing a shooter or if I'm sitting on a couch. If I'm sitting on a couch, I don't want to bring a keyboard and mouse over to play. And in fact, then you got like the mouse on the couch next to you and the keyboard's on your lap. Then I feel like it gets a little clunky to use a keyboard and mouse to control a game. So because of convenience of where I'd like to sit when I play a video game, I feel like the controller is a much more compact and easy to, to you know, um, maneuver device for controlling your video games. And it does quite a decent job. And so I'm happy with it typically. Um, but that said, you know, like, uh, I used to play the division for a while there and stuff. And I have seen things online where like PC gamers, you know, can like run through like a division. Um, they didn't call them raids, but they were like challenges or whatever. There were like some challenges that on the PC were too easy. And then on home console, people couldn't even do because the aiming was not precise enough with the, uh, control, uh, controllers, but with, you know, uh, keyboard and mouse is like people were just dominating these bosses and stuff. So, uh, yeah, certainly, I think after decades of experience, we can probably say fairly definitively that, uh, that the PC and mouse is a superior control scheme, but the controller is the more comfortable and, and reasonable, does reasonably well as a control scheme. So anyway, that's my long-winded rant about controls and shooting and stuff. And actually, speaking of which, I've not been aiming down sights. Might make my life a little easier to kill these Luftwaffe or whatever I'm killing. Die, Germans! I like how it shows you where to aim in order to, to hit, hit the guy. So you have to, like, lead with your bullets, obviously. Go, 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 get- Oh, I'm all over the place. Oh, I'm all over- Wow, this is terrible! That was awful. Also, I think you have unlimited bullets. Yes! I want to watch this guy go down. I like- I have a little camera in the bottom right that, like, shows the, uh, kill cam. Oh, the guy ejected. 
Just follow the sucker down. Not all the way down, obviously. Whoa. Down he goes. Oh, he's gonna crash into houses. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He crashed into a suburb. Sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. Uh, that's not very good, is it? Oh, there's a hole in my wing. Look at that. You guys see that hole? That is crazy, and I'm still flying. I mean, I guess, why not? I guess my wing is so efficient that it can take a hole or two, but there's... Yeah, there's been smoke coming out of my aircraft for a while. Um, alright, we gotta find somebody else to kill. People have been shouting stuff to me on the radio, and I've just been totally ignoring them. Hope it's nothing too important. To pepper these guys with a few shots. Real life dogfighting must have been so terrifying. The other thing with dogfighting in real life is like, you can just move like this in the game and it doesn't do anything, but in real life you'd be experiencing like G-forces, even in like a plane. You know, forget about a fighter jet. I know like in fighter jets, you know, physically their machines can do all sorts of crazy moves, but the pilots basically pass out or die from like a bunch of blood rushing to their head all at once, you know? They have to like clench their butts and their toes and stuff to keep the blood from parts of their body. Very physical activity as it turns out. You'd think just sitting in a plane piloting around isn't that physical. It's quite physical. Quite physical. Hitting this guy? Trying to aim at the, the target. Ah, you bastard. I guess we should go faster. Catch up to him. Maybe not. Hey, wait, this guy's closer. Let's kill this guy. Would you like to die, German? You Nazi scumbag? Why, why do I have a German accent when I'm killing Nazis? I don't know, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Down he goes. I think, honestly, the shooting in this is actually... It's been a while since I've played a, a, fl a flying game, but the shooting in this is, like, pretty solid. And, like, quite satisfying. Oddly enough. I think the guy ejected. He panicked. Did we just win the mission? I think we won the mission. There's a couple of, uh, yellow icons still. Over that way. Alright, let's head over. The radar really has cleared up. There was like red dots everywhere for a while, but now it sort of seems relatively open. Alright, if I don't see any more red dots, I'll start killing the yellow ones. I don't know if those are like allied planes or what. I'm assuming blue is our side, but... Oh, there's a red one. Found ya! Thought you could escape from me, eh? Not on my watch, partner. Yeah, there's one right ahead of me, to the left. Oh, he's, they're down there. Oh, it's a low-altitude dogfight. Old L.A.D.F. Let's get these guys. There's one thing I hate more than Germans, it's Germans in planes. I guess I should specify Nazi Germans. Current Germans are not bad. You know that uh, modern Germany is nothing like its ancient Nazi counterpart. Well, not ancient. It's only like, what, 80 years ago? 60... yeah. I guess 80 years is a long time, but still. World War II, man. Crazy time in history. Every time I play one of these World War II games, it's like... It's hard to enjoy the action without thinking about the darkness that surrounds that period and like because this isn't this isn't some like fantasy war this really happened you know and like it, it, it is just insane to think about that said it is a great time period for all kinds of stories you know rocketeer captain america indiana jones um just sort of the the 30s and 40s and stuff there's just there's so it's so rich 
and write for storytelling. Hey, get this guy. Well, that guy is wily, man. Whoa! Where did he go? I'm gonna crash, aren't I? Oh, pull up! Oh, God. Oh, he went down, okay. <laughs> I think he was trying to evade me. And he might have died in the process. So, mission accomplished? Question mark? Technically, he evaded me. Technically, it was a win for him. Look at this guy. It's hanging out way up here, eh, buddy? Think you're safe? Well, guess what, Mr. BF109, 1.7 kilometers. Got you in my sights, punk. I'm, like, climbing straight up. Is he going... Is he in, like, a low orbit here? He's, like, in the, the upper atmosphere. Hanging out up here. Jesus, this guy's high up. That's, that's another thing with being a fighter pilot. You go high enough, the air gets so thin, you can barely breathe. Hey, can I catch this guy? He's technically getting farther away from me. Okay, here, I think we're finally gaining. I kind of wish that... I had done better at the beginning, because I've had this hole in my wing for the entire dock fight. It's kind of embarrassing that I'm that guy. Oh, he's chasing one of my buddies. He's chasing... It's like in Star Fox. Don't worry, Slippy, I'll get him. What, 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 what? Help me. He's way down there. Is he going to crash, too? He's kind of spinning towards the ground. It's either a crazy good... Maneuver to avoid me, or... Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> oh, look at all the fires over the countryside of... Crashed German planes. It's crazy. Pull up! Pull up! Oh, God, why am I so slow? Okay, there we go. Wow, this is a long level. Is this supposed to go like this? Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm not even supposed to kill all these guys. Uh, hold on. Gear up, gear down. Where are the other buttons? It'd be cool if there was a grenade button. Like in first person shooters. Oh my god, look at my cockpit. This is what they actually saw. Whoa. Wow, that that is a lot harder to deal with. Wow. I mean, I guess you get used to it. Being a fighter pilot, no joke. It's hard work, man. Not as easy as they make it look in the PS3 hit title, Ill 2, Sturmovic. Um... Oh, here we go. Attack a small flight of enemy bombers, shoot down enemy bombers. Stukas are attacking our ships, destroy them. Okay, I'm gonna head to the ships. The Stukas are attacking them. So I think it's the yellow things? Okay, I'm gonna go for the yellow guys. I'm gonna just let the red guys live in peace. Go now! We want nothing to do with you. Okay, yeah, the yellow guys are the bombers. I've just been ignoring them the whole time and going after the fighters. Mission failed, you took too long. Okay. I understand. I get it, we kind of were not paying attention to the to the bombers. We got focused- we, we, we kind of got drawn into a dogfight there, an extended dogfight. Okay, let's try this one more time. This time, hopefully with no hole through our wing. And, um... We'll actually go for the bombers. This time, you failed to carry out your orders. I destroyed 21 aircraft, though. Zero out of unlimited. Primary goal is two. Secondary goal is zero out of zero. Efficiency unbelievable! <laughs> They're like, we've never seen anyone fail a mission so awesomely. <laughs> you are truly... <laughs> For someone who failed, you did an unbelievable job. Uh, pilot. Pilot Jovich. Okay, we're gonna go in this time. A little more focused on what we're asked to do. It's like when your parents ask you to clean up a room and then you end up you know, like, in the garage, reorganizing paint cans or something, and they're like, well, technically you're doing something, but it wasn't what we asked. 
Has that ever happened in the history of anyone? I don't think so. I don't think anyone's accidentally ended up cleaning up uh, paint cans, but that's all I could come up with in the heat of the moment, guys. Also, that song, Heat of the Moment by Asia, is pretty good, eh? Look it up if you don't know it. It's a good song. What is the effective range of my guns, I wonder? I wonder if I'm just wasting... I mean, you know, technically don't have ammo. I can just fire forever. Your gun will heat up eventually. Okay, here we go. Go down. Okay, we got one. Oh, we might have got another one. I'll take that as a hit. Alright, who else we got? Well, there's actually a lot of fighters. I'm surprised that, uh... I didn't... kind of didn't realize initially. There's a lot of escort for these bombers. We got another one, and another one. Another one. Oh, we're just taking them down like crazy. Turns out the bombers are really easy to kill. They're just big targets in the air. Oh man, we're flying like right over them. Vroom. Like shook their cockpit. They're like, Jesus, that guy is fearless. We got a British airman. He's coming for us. I'm accelerating out of here. Then we're going to turn around and face him head on. Turning around. All right, you want my ships? You gotta come through me. Get these guys. Got one. I actually prefer to be behind them. I think it's easier to shoot them that way. Where are they? Yeah, another one. <laughs> I, I am kind of all over the place in terms of aiming, but at least I'm getting the targets. Take the wind where you can get them, boys. Oh, I'm getting shot. Okay, that one's down too. Oh, his wing came off. Do I have a hole in my wing again? There. Yep. Once again. Classic. Classic J. I guess I should try and shoot down some of these uh, escort fighters, but last time I got too distracted doing that. I want to make sure I take out the bombers first. Another one. There's only one more, I think. I think we got them. Oh, and there's one one up there. Oh, come on. Die already. Yeah! <laughs> oh, is there more? Oh, there's like a second wave of them. Or something, I don't know. Or this is a ton of bombers. Okay, he's down. Whoa, I'm all over the place. Where is this guy? Oh, there we go. I'm like flying sideways through their formation. A badass. Whoa. <laughs> I wonder what my allied pilots think of me. They're just like, he's effing crazy, man. The risks he takes. He must really love Britain. Most patriotic pilot you've ever met. Okay, they're under... Attack. We got another one. Man, there's so many. They're all bombers. I thought they were just a ton of fighters, but I think it's just non-stop bomber guys. Jeez. What happens to the guys who parachute out? I guess they get captured by farmers or whatever. Something like that. It's not our problem. Leave the grunts to mop up that stuff. That's for mobile infantry to worry about. 
Fleet does the flying, MI does the dying. Some Starship Troopers. Aw, oh, two for one! Nice. I think that guy's done. Oh, that guy's done. Who else wants some? This guy, whoa. I should put a, a warning at the start of this video. If you suffer from motion sickness, please be advised. This video contains scenes of uh, spinning skies and, and moving horizons. You may puke. Do not play this game in VR. Oh, come on, dude. Yes. Okay, I'm being attacked by fighters. What is this nonsense? Okay, here's some bomber guys. We're gonna get them. Oh, you guys are in a bad position. I came up at them. Like, speed up. I'm like, no, I want to stay behind the enemy. I want to go as slow as possible. It's going to crash into a ship. Kamikazeing. Whoa. Can't hit this guy. He's good. The force is strong with this one. Oh, there he goes. Not that strong, though. Our Ju-87B.47KM. What a weird call sign. You're going down. Can't get that guy. There we go. Yes! Getting in that, that like, tarting... Targeting reticles. Difficult. Hey, we completed the mission! We did it! Yeah! <laughs> you thought I was gonna crash, didn't you? Well, we could technically. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> I thought it was actually gonna end <laughs> before we crashed. I was gonna hit zero and we'd be okay. I, we uh, technically passed the mission, but also died. Keeping up with our reputation in the fleet is being awesome at failing. Oops. We're getting a little backstory here about he's going to write uncles and mothers about their dead sons who died. Rockets have poor accuracy. It's best to fire for a few. Mission complete. Combat over and over reached a climax on August 15th when 76 German bo uh, bombers were shot down by only 34 Royal Air Force fighters. Uh, these were good figures made possible thanks to Italian pilots like Owen Wright and his friends of the 41st and 64th Squadron. Difficulty unlocked. Realistic. Simulator. Definitely don't want to try those. I will do perfect. Uh, I will do bad. As I think I said perfect there on our score. Um, the Battle of the Bulbs. All right, let's try this one, and, uh, we're also, oh wait, Tiger Hunt. Okay, we must halt the German offensive. If the Nazis succeed in reaching Antwerp, our forces will be split in two. Let's kill them stinking Nazis. Crush them under our boot like the scumbags they are. Sturmovic. I wonder where that name comes from. I mean, it's probably... I think the kind of people who would buy this game would know a little about World War II history and might know, but maybe not. I don't know. Our first target is a heavy gun battery. Oh. Ooh, different guns. Ooh, rockets. Pull up. Or missiles, I guess. This is kind of cool. Oh, and I want to take out the bridge. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Did I get the bridge? 
I flew through the bridge and crashed on the other side. Okay. That's okay, we'll- we'll get it this time. I- I really like the guns on these planes, the- Even though it's all machine guns, this feels like a very different kind of machine gun, it's pretty cool. Um... Oh, and there's like, guys over there. What are these guys? Is it like... Troops or something? What am I shooting at? Whoa! <laughs> Try that again. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm... I'm just way too reckless with this. Oh, it's so cool to, like, fire missiles at ground troops and stuff. Okay, let's try and do this without crashing. I'll just kill one guy. Or whatever, I'll let him- I'll let him all go. Um, I think I'm supposed to kill two more anti-aircraft batteries. We'll loop back around. Pull up. Don't tell me what to do, game. Yes, I've crashed four times. Vroom. But, whatever, I'm a professional RAF guy. I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm waiting for. We got another one. Do the missiles home in? Like, do I have to, like, aim precisely? I've, I've been under the impression I have to aim. Accelerate here. Afterburner. No, they didn't have afterburners from World War II. Oh! Where is this? Oh! Oh, just buzz that tree. I guess maybe approaching from, like, ground level is actually a bad idea, because it's really hard to aim at them. You want to be really high up. Oh! Whoa! How'd that not kill me? <laughs> okay, new plan. We're gonna be much higher up in the sky. Bring our next thing. Like, up here is good. Up here is good. Or even, like, up here. And then you just aim down at them. No, this is terrible. I'm gonna crash to the ground. Yeah, I can't even aim at him in time. I'm going down, chief! <laughs> Germans are like, that guy went down. We didn't even shoot at him. Don't quite understand that. Destroy the heavy artillery. Get the first... Get the first target unnoticed. Well, that didn't happen. Okay, we're gonna turn around. See, I think this is my Achilles heel when it comes to aircraft games, is moving around the space. In first-person shooters, you can literally just run wherever you want to go. But with aircraft, it's like you gotta worry about your altitude and your speed and stuff. You can't just do a 180 instantly. Um, and that makes it hard for me, I'm just not very good at it. I think, um, what I would be better at... Oh, I can't effing aim. Fuck okay. it. I think what I would actually enjoy is, if you guys remember the Battlestar Galactica reimagined series, uh, by Ronald Moore, with, uh, you know, um, what's his face for Adama, Edward James almost. The, uh, Vipers in that, the, like, space fighters, um, they looked like jets, but they operated how you would in space, where if you want, you could suddenly fire a thruster and do a 180 turn. Your momentum would still carry, but you'd now be facing the other way around. So it's like these were like very acrobatic fighters, as would really exist when you don't have an atmosphere or gravity to worry about. And I feel like a fighter game like that, I would probably have an easier time with. But they're few and far between, like even X-Wing versus TIE Fighter takes place in space, but... The physics of the flying is very similar to this. It's it's very World War II-y kind of uh, uh, flight mechanics. Um, but the Battlestar Galactica, the kind of like acrobatic zero-G fighters, I don't can't think of a game like that. Anyway, I'm having a hell of a time getting these batteries. And I think maybe I'm just going to wrap up instead. So this is Il-2 Sturmovic. 
one of the games of the book a thousand video games you must play before you die um i think as far as uh you know uh, world war ii fighter games go from my limited exposure to this as somebody who doesn't really play these games i would have to say that um, it does feel very solid. It feels it feels quite good. The machine guns are good. It's satisfying to shoot enemy aircraft down. It's not overly difficult for a newbie like me to shoot enemy aircraft down. I mean, especially in the arcade mode. I'm sure, you know, more advanced people could play the realistic or the uh, simulator mode and get more out of it. Um, even though we've only seen two of the demo missions, I like the fact that we have, like, missiles and stuff now. We're blowing up bridges. Maybe you get bombers and stuff later. So there's some variety here, which I think is pretty cool. And for a PS3 era, uh, you know, World War II aircraft game, I think it's exactly, you know, what you would what you'd want, really. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe the graphics look a little dated by today's standards, but um, yeah, it, I, I feel like it actually does a decent job of sort of like simulating in some World War II history along with some fun gameplay. Oh, God. And if you like to crash, let me tell you, this is the game for you. Um, what do you guys think of Ill 2 Sturmovic here? Is it a game that you've played before? Do you have fond memories? Do you have any tips that would have helped me do better than I did today? And let me tell you, it doesn't take a really big tip for that. Um, if so, let me, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, whatever you think of the game, I hope you enjoyed yourselves today. If you did, don't forget to like the video. And blah, blah, blah. I will catch you in the next one. Until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. Don't start any wars with Germany. And otherwise, peace.